I think if I did have to see a female character played by a man, I'd love to see Juliet played by a man. I just, I'm just really gunning, I'm really rooting for a, a gay Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Jack. That wouldn't sell. It really wouldn't sell. But, you know, with a better name, maybe. It would just sort of be revolutionary for the time period and I'd really invest in it. I think a lot of gay audiences, um, audiences maybe who aren't in, into Shakespeare as much, might be drawn to uh, the play and widen the audience and the discussion. Oh, there's quite a few parts. I'd love to play Juliet. I think Juliet could be a really interesting thing to gender swap. I think it's been done before, um, but I've not seen it. And I'd love to play Juliet. I think that could be really fun. Um, I actually think a, a a male and a male Romeo and Juliet, two two men playing those two roles could be really interesting. Or two women playing those roles. I think that could also be quite interesting. Um, again, I think it's playing with that gender stereotype because Juliet is written as more of a feminine woman and Romeo is, is uh, written more as a masculine man. So I think playing with that gender dynamic could be quite interesting. I think it would be interesting to see more of Ophelia or Juliet being played by a man at the top of my head. Also interesting in terms of changing the dynamics with other characters in that play. I would love to see um, a gender swap Macbeth. So a female Macbeth and a male Lady Macbeth. Lady Macbeth as a, as a female is so cool. Uh, she's crazy, but she's cool. Um, but I think changing that uh, gender in that relationship could be really interesting and I think it could almost be quite frightening um, to have a male uh, kind of overpower a woman like that as Lady Macbeth does to Macbeth and kind of controls him slightly. Um, I think that could be a really frightening thing to see on stage and I think that's a dynamic that, that could could work. I don't know. Um, I think Lady Macbeth as a man would be really interesting. Um, Things that would have to be changed, as I've said, the stuff about motherhood um, wouldn't work. So much of, of the way we've kind of read Lady Macbeth um, and the way that we have accepted her interpretation, the interpretation of that character, is, is so much about her being female. I think turning that on its head would be really interesting and a really interesting exposure of why we have adopted that interpretation and what we read into it because of that. There are so many characters, I think, um, in Shakespeare that I would love to see. What I love about so many female Shakespeare characters is they're really strong women. Um, some of them are a little bit messed up, obviously, but they're really strong women, like Lady Macbeth, A Winter's Tale, one of my favourite Shakespeare plays. You've got Paulina and Hermione, both very strong women, but in very different ways. And I think those are definitely parts that we should, at this point in time, be keeping as female because I think it's empowering to women and to see those kind of parts being played, I think it is incredibly empowering and we should be empowering our women because women are amazing.